Hi, I'm Tom Doyle, and this is the Boating Direct Marine Blog. And today we're going to talk about replacing your shore power 30 amp cable to your circuit breaker and installing a galvanic isolator. Welcome aboard my boat, Celtic Sea. Celtic Sea is a mid 1980s Brewer 12.8 cutter rig sloop. I'm in the process of installing the ring inverter charger to run some modern day electronics. Before beginning any boat electrical project, it's important you understand some basic characteristics of your vessel. In the case of Celtic Sea, this is a bonded vessel, meaning that all the sea caulks, chain plates, and other metal components that are underwater are bonded together through copper wiring. Also, the electrical system for both the AC and DC systems are common. One grounding system for the entire boat. Therefore, installation of the galvanic isolator is desirable if your vessel is going to make frequent use of marina AC power sources. During the uh, process of installing the galvanic isolator, it was uh, discovered that the uh, basic cable from the 30 amp AC plug on the vessel to the AC circuit breaker panel was severely corroded. This is not uncommon on vessels of this age and upon further investigation we discovered that the wire in this cable was not tinned marine grade wire. Therefore we decided to replace the entire cable from the shore power plug to the AC circuit breaker of the vessel and uh, do this as we also install the galvanic isolator. So we're now down in the aft compartment of Celtic Sea where the um, entrance of the AC 30 amp wiring cable enters the vessel. In this compartment we've installed a high quality marine grade galvanic isolator. In this case it's a NUMA GI30 unit. As you can see the new cable has been cut and the green wire exposed. We've merely cut the green wire coming in from the shore power plug and wired it to the galvanic isolator. Now that we've completed this, we will secure this wire at a number of places to prevent movement and fray while the ship is underway. A galvanic isolator will prevent stray DC currents crossing from your AC shore power at the marina to metal parts on your boat, thus reducing the probability of galvanic corrosion and costly damage to components of the vessel. It's a simple process. The whole project runs about $220 for the galvanic isolator and the new cable from the plug to the uh, inverter charger. It's a cheap insurance policy to enjoy years of carefree boating in a marine environment. We'll see you next time on board the good ship Celtic Sea.